What's up, guys? Matt here, aka Elks Vapor. Quick story. So, a couple days ago, I'm sitting in my basement uh, playing with my vape gear. I hear a knock at the door. Clunk, clunk, clunk. I don't know. It wasn't 60 seconds. I go upstairs. I open the door, and on the glass is is one of those tags from the UPS saying, "We missed. Sorry, we missed you." Well, I'm in my uh, I'm in my shorts, a t-shirt, no socks on. It's zero degrees outside. I'm running down half the street after this guy. Well, luckily the guy sees me and stops. Now it, it's my vape mail, and it's one of those that you have to sign for. Well. I'm glad he stopped. Um, we kind of got a chuckle out of it. Um, but I did get the new Stingray mod by JD Tech. Uh, this is out of the Philippines. Okay. This is a 22 mil device. Now, this thing is absolutely gorgeous, stunning. It's a copper tubing with a uh, black uh, chroming, if have you, um, over the top. It does use all of the 1800 series batteries. You can kick it in an 18350 and an 18490. Okay, I paid $199 for this from a company called VapeUpUSA.com. Now, apparently, uh, just a few days later, after I did get it, they are sold out and they have removed it from their inventory sheet. So I'm sure if you look hard enough and close enough, you can find one out there. Okay, it did, did come with a matching drip tip that is, uh, it was a Delrin drip tip with the, uh, accented with the copper. Pretty, pretty neat. We'll show you, uh, in a couple of minutes down the road what that looked like. Okay, the firing button, um, very, very similar to the Nemesis. I'm not going to go as far as saying, you know, they, they copied it, but it's very similar. Um, you know, if you want to lock it, you just twist the locking button. You know, if you want to snug up your battery, you, you know, you turn it. Again, it does, it is very similar to the Nemesis. You can make your own opinion there. Now, let me take a quick vape. We'll dive down and we'll check this bad boy out. Okay, guys, welcome back. I have dissected the Stingray into these parts. Okay, first we'll start with the drip tip they have added in to the package. Um, it is a Delrin drip tip. It does have a little bit of a copper accent around it. Very neat. Very nice. Nice to use. Okay, matches the rest of the mod. All right, the top cap. It is all copper, and then it is topped with 304 stainless steel. Okay, it does have a uh, floating pin. Now, when you screw your atomizer into the top of it, um, it pushes out the contact to meet up with your battery. Okay, that is um, silver-plated brass. Okay, now your firing button itself. Again, you have 304 stainless steel around it. Okay. Okay does kind of have a short throw to it. That's probably one of the cons that, you know, I can first point out. Plus the copper threading. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a challenge to keep this thing maintained. You know, you're going to have to keep the threading clean. Uh, copper's kind of soft. So you got you to gotta be careful cross-threading it. Um, again, in the top cap, I, I failed to mention that there's four uh, points here. Now, there's a little error that comes out of each of the four points. Um, now, if you were screwing something directly down to it, you, it does have a little bit of airflow there. Okay. Now, you have your 304 uh, stainless steel. Um, this is your locking ring. Again, this is very, very similar to the Nemesis. Um, I mean, I, I like it, uh, other than the throw, a little short for my likings, um, but it works. It works well. Okay, now you're left with a few different size tubes here. Your main tube is your uh, 18490, 18500 tube. Okay, and then you have your um, 18350 tube. 
And then this kind of has multi purposes. This can either be your kicking ring, your tube, or it can you can add it on to this one to make your 18650. And then like I said, you can use it as a kick tube and you can kick your 18350 or put it back on to this one and make it uh, 18500 with a, with a kick or just make it 18650. So what we'll do, I'll show you how it looks uh, in the, the three different uh, sizes. First, we'll take the smallest tube. We will first screw on the top. I recommend always turning it backwards first so you catch the threads when you turn it the other way. Uh, again, copper is very soft. You, you don't want to force it. You want to be very careful. Okay, we'll add the kick ring, or excuse me, the locking ring. Um, over the course of time, I think you're going to find, you know, I, I've only been using this a few days, and you can already see, you know, they call it a a, chrome, a chroming. I would almost call it, a, you know, a painting. You know, this is going to wear off. Uh, and that's probably another one of the the cons that I can that I can mention right off the get-go um, This is one of those that I'm probably not going to use and take to work and you know take out with me every time I go out This will be a special occasions mod um, Just for the, the the fact of keeping it uh, You know looking nice Okay Got that screwed on. Now we'll screw on the the firing button. Oh, you know what? Let's put a battery in there so we know where it stops. All right, put the 18350 in there. Screw the top back on. Very, very easy. Don't force it. Okay. Now, like the Nemesis, this is what controls to your snuggage your battery. And then you can, as you can see, the throw is just really, really small. Speaking of small, this thing, I mean, it's tiny, absolutely tiny, probably the smallest 18350 device that I own, maybe even that I've seen to date. Uh, pretty neat, though, for those of you that like really, really small, uh, this is going to be for you. Just a stunning device, though. I mean, just look how the the copper, you know, pops through that black. It's just, it's just absolutely amazing. Okay, that's 18350. So we'll take off, first we'll take off the firing button. Okay, battery. Okay. Again, both of the main tubes are serialized here at the bottom. Let's see if I can get this in better focus, guys. This is number 440. Now, both of them do have the serialization on the back. Okay. Now, we're going to take the... We're just going to jump all the way up to 650. We'll take and add the extension onto it. Adding that to the 49500 tube. Okay. We're going to add the locking ring. Now I've noticed this thing only goes on one way. Um, well, I got lucky this time. It went on that way. We'll screw this on. Okay. 
just being really gentle because I don't want to cross thread it and ruin it right away. And it's such gorilla hands that I could see myself doing it. So just bear with me, guys. There we go. All right, we're at 18, that's 650 battery. Plop that down in there. Okay, screw the top on. Snug up the battery. And that's what she looks like. Absolutely a stunner, guys. That's about the best you're going to see it. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, again, this is the Stingray Copper Black by JD Tech. Um, uh, just a stunning, stunning piece. Um, again, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, please subscribe, leave comments below, all that good jazz. Um, and again, uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.